If you want to know what's going on in Rockingham County government, check out Rockingham County 411. If you're interested in county governmental programs, projects, and services, don't miss Rockingham County 411. Public Information Officer Mabel Scott will share important, crucial news you can use with Rockingham County 411. Hello and welcome to Rockingham County 411. I'm Mabel Scott, your Public Information Officer, and today we're talking about a new venue in Wentworth. That's right, you probably have passed by and seen it, and that's why we invited the town administrator, George T. Murphy Sr., to stop by and tell us more about the new Wentworth Park. Hey, Mabel, how are you doing today? Wonderful. Tell us about the park. What do you want to know? Everything. <laughs> I don't know that you have that much time. <laughs> uh, no, we're really happy. The park officially opened May 22nd. It is open now. It is open hours sunrise to sunset, seven okay. days a week. Uh, the official grand opening is scheduled for Saturday, June the 26th at 11 a.m. Iris Powell, one of our council members, said she couldn't get up and be there before that time. Okay. So it's set for 11 a.m. All right. Um, and there are going to be some other events that will be scheduled as a part of that grand opening day. But the park is open. Kids are there. It does my heart and soul good to step out into the parking lot of Town Hall and hear the laughter and, and all of the fun that's going on down there with that. So how did this idea come about? Well, the town of Wentworth, a number of years ago, purchased a little over 18 acres, and that's one of the reasons why I have this particular map. Mm -hmm. The town's property, which town hall is included here, and then covered all of this area here, not this part and not this part. Okay. Uh, the town later purchased the home that sits on this property, so the town owned all of that land acreage additionally. Uh, town Hall was built in 2008, and in 2010, they got the architect to come up with some possibilities of things to do with the property, because mm -hmm. Town Hall was here, and of course, this was still privately owned, mm -hmm. and this was one of the original concepts, and there were several that he drew on that. Uh, but the town, as you know, does not levy a property tax. The town of Wentworth's primary source of income comes from the sales and use tax distributions that the county commissioners send out to each of the municipalities, and they do that on a per capita basis. Mm -hmm. So the town of Wentworth qualifies for that, and that is our largest revenue source. So we have to be kind of conservative in how we spend our money. Mm -hmm. uh, they built the town hall in 2008 and had this idea in the back of their minds and then there have been other projects that came up like the Wentworth Community Center mm -hmm. and we built that and then reno renovated that so the post office is located there Yay. and we've leased that. Uh, the town's been good with its money though that's that's a good measure for our town council members mm -hmm. and they have continued to save and work toward projects and they finally came up with this design for the park and the entrance to the park, the town hall's address is 124 Peachtree Road. The entrance to the park is called 126 Peachtree Road. Okay. And if you're using GIS to find this, even though it's in Wentworth, you have to say Regional North Carolina 27320 yes. or else GIS won't find it. Mm -hmm. um, GPS as well. So the town hall is here, the entrance into the park there is a drive that circumnavigates the park. The park has a amphitheater, stage area, restrooms, a picnic shelter, and there is not depicted here, but a nice playground setup that's there on the park. So this has been something, a project that the town council members have been wanting to do for years in developing this project. And additionally, not depicted here, there is a trail that goes into the woods there and also you can access it. There are two entry points, one's about here, one's about here mm. with that. That's, that's beautiful and, and you're telling us about many more amenities than what I can see from just <laughs> driving up and down 65. Well, and several things were added. Any kind you, anytime you bring anything out of the ground, it's an interesting project mm -hmm. because of the 
you start, I took a facilities course in graduate school. One of okay. the things they told us in there is anytime you start to dig, you never know what you're going to find. Fine, yeah. We didn't run into too many problems with this, but Highway 65 and 87, fairly major thoroughfares, mm -hmm. certainly for Wentworth. Yes. There is high pressure gas main that runs under the road. There's natural gas lines. There's water lines. There's telephone lines. There's data. <laughs> so when we, we with the um, restrooms, they are connected, as you can see with this line depicted here, mm -hmm. to the Rockingham County Sanitary Sewer System. Okay. And so that meant that we had to bore under the road, and that doesn't happen inexpensively. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, problems, I did say there were a few. The town now owns the house that's here. We rent that. Mm -hmm. So we were going to expose it to the park so you'll notice that there is a domestic privacy fence that now covers the house, so it's not exposed so much to the park. Mm -hmm. But when they were doing the grading here, they went over, they discovered the drain fill line. It had actually extended out into the wood area that was here before. So we wound up connecting the rental house to the sanitary sewer system as well. Okay. Uh, that was an unexpected expense, mm. but it's it's all in all, it was a, a it was an interesting project. So a lot of people have been involved in oh, this project. Oh heavens, yes. Yeah, heavens you want yes. to tell us about some of those? Well, I mean, obviously, our mayor mm -hmm. Dennis Pascal yes. Jr. and uh, our mayor pro tem Evelyn Connor, mm -hmm. and of course our council members Cheryl Moore and Iris Powell and Dennis Pascal III we're very much involved in this. We are a mayor council form of government, so the decisions are there. I'm not a manager, I'm an administrator. Mm -hmm. I do what I'm told, mm -hmm. so that. Um, we had initially a playground committee. Uh, Evelyn Connor and Cheryl Moore, Yvonne Russell and I worked with Jeff Johnson and the company that we went with, Miracle Playground Equipment, uh, to come up with a playground design. They have certain, Miracle has a lot of different designs that they they use we did modify it slightly um, it has it came with uh, two swing bays for a total of four swings mm -hmm. we added an additional or recommended that to town council and they approved it an additional swing bay for handicap accessible that's good so that's in there um, and as a matter of fact the mayor says the popularity of the swings are so much he has uh, our town clerk now exploring the possibility of adding additional swings. So I guess Wentworth must be a swinging place. That's the only thing <laughs> I can think. Uh, but that was a playground committee. Um, the architectural firm for this was Allie William Carmen and King. Uh, their main one of the offices that we deal with is out of Burlington. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeff Johnson was the chief architect on this, and the project site superintendent uh, Mike Tilly with SNS Construction. Uh, they wound up getting the low bid. They happened to be the same company that did the renovation on the post office facility okay. as well. We found them to be very good to work with. Mm -hmm. So glad that they were the low bid. Um, once we were getting close to having the park ready, we needed to have our rules and regs together. And so we had a rules committee, which included uh, Kay Hammock, uh, Darlene Moore, Mike Moore, Janet Rakestraw and Kathy Taylor. And they came up with, you'll see rule signs in the park. And I saw that's, it on the website too. Right, that's mm -hmm. the rule sign. And then of course the rules for the operation of the park. Mm -hmm. And they submitted that to town council for consideration. And of course the town council took liberties with it and modified it somewhat, mm -hmm. but we have those in place. Mm -hmm. um, and then, I don't know, as we went through the process, we got things pretty close to in shape. But the town council decided that we needed a barrier fence between the highway and the park. Mm -hmm. Kids could run out into the park. Um, just a, a couple of weeks ago, there was a mother up there near the shelter and the kid kicked a ball, went rolling over toward the fence. We added a barrier fence between those. Um, but there was a, quite a bit of discussion about that of what we should use. Uh, one of the council members said we can't put a chain link fence up that'll make the place look like a prison. Uh, Sheriff Page was over and we were talking about some of the security measures there mm -hmm. and he said and one alternative was a hedgerow and he said well we won't be able to see and help monitor the park. Mm -hmm. So we wound up going with a powder coated black aluminum 
and it's really a classy design. It's it, very it's, distinctive. But it, do, it doesn't take away to no, from the car. I think it attracts. Very much so. It's very nice. You'll notice, though, it's a good distance away from the roadway. Mm -hmm. Because DOT has plans in the future, and they're talking now maybe 2026, of modernizing NC65 all the way to Freeway Drive. Mm. And they haven't specified what that's going to look like. Mm -hmm. They've, it could be three lanes, it could be four lanes, it could be five lanes. Mm -hmm. But my hope is that the town will, we've we already talked with DOT about, you know, in, in collaboration with that project, of uh, maybe being able to run some sidewalk here as well. And so there is a gate here, which allows the groundskeeper to get out and to be able to cut the grass mm -hmm. on the other side of the fence. Mm -hmm but also have access. But it, right now it's locked and it simply keeps the kids in and keeps things a little bit safer there in the park. So we have the swings and the picnic area and then the amphitheater. Mm -hmm. Lots of things to do. Anything else you want to mention? Of course. As far as fun things? We have charcoal grills at All different right. locations in the park. Okay. Um, and we have ash receptacles for those. So okay. people bring their charcoal and they grill. We'd mm -hmm. like for them to add the ash to the receptacles so that we don't have problems with that. Uh, there are picnic tables throughout the park. Uh, there are also some under the shelter as well. And then there are benches throughout the park. And you look surprised about the walking trail. It goes back into the woods. It's I, I, I borrowed Jeremy D. Lapp's measuring wheel from DOT. Okay. <laughs> and went out and measured. Uh, the walking trail is about two-tenths of a mile in length. Okay. So, uh, so we can go over there sometimes oh, and absolutely. eat lunch and then walk? Absolutely. Okay. Yes. That is so cool. And we've asked, we've got signage here asking people if they're going to walk the roadway to walk facing the traffic. So we want the traffic going in that manner. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's kind of the layout. That I love it. So, you know, we always say in Rockingham County, this is a great place, a good place to live, work, and play. So you hope many local residents and visitors from this whole area will be coming to the park. Well, and the when they were talking about the rules and regs for the park, mm -hmm. they, they will allow the shelter to be rented. They by will residents and by non-residents? Non-residents. Okay. Non-residents pay a little higher. Okay. Not by much. And the amphitheater to be rented. And the park in its entirety can be rented, especially wow. for after hours events. Yes. But when they put that in, one of the points that town council made was that this park is primarily for public use and public access. Mm -hmm. So for instance, if you have a group, like last night, the high school band group was using the picnic shelter for an awards event that they had. While they were there, the rest of the park was wide open, playground, the trails, mm -hmm. you know, the rest of it. So if people were there and, and wanted to do that, even though they were free to use the shelter alone, the rest of the park was open to the public. Okay, so, all right. Yeah. As the town administrator for the town of Wentworth, Rockingham County's historic county seat, why is this Wentworth Park significant? Well, you know, we said about resident and non-resident. Mm -hmm. This is for not only the people of Wentworth, but the people of Rockingham County. And it, it, it's a nice focal point here. It allows kids a place to come, a safe place to come and play. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have to note that there is wildlife. We are in a, Wentworth is a very rural place. Yes. One of my favorite videos from one of the cameras that we had here was one day they had put down grass seed and fresh straw and I saw that there was a lot of motion on one of the camera that was in that area. Who was and there? And there were 22 turkeys. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> we're not, not allowing hunting in the park, but anyway. Uh -huh. Gobble, but, gobble. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> our, our renter, Adrian Hensley, said that during the construction, she would often see deer in the evening coming into it. So we know that, and walking the trail, I have shared the trail with a black snake that was crawling along one oh day. I mean, he was going his way, I was going yeah, mine, no problems. Yeah. I know some people freak out about snakes. Mm -hmm. uh, but we do have that. And I have talked with both DARBA and with North Carolina Wildlife about maybe doing some informational signage in the future to explain that there is wildlife here. Mm -hmm. We even have in our rules Wildlife's here, observe, but keep your distance, mm -hmm. you know. So. And that could be educational and informational. Absolutely. That's good. Yeah. So if folks have questions or want additional details about the new Wentworth Park, what do you want them to do? 
Well, one, you can go to the Town of Wentworth's website, and hopefully okay. we have it up to date, although we've been struggling with that at times. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, that that's one place. Okay. Uh, the other, of course, is you can call either Yvonne or I, which mm -hmm. are the two employees for the town. And, of course, any of the town council members, they're very proud of what we've constructed here, and I'm sure they'd be more than happy to talk about and it. And your main number is? 336-342-6288. Uh, mm -hmm. And they can go to the website and just type in Town of Wentworth? Um, I think the Atlas, see if I can remember, it's www.townofwentworth.com. Www. Www. <laughs> um, That's it. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Anything else you want to add? Maybe I could sit Stop here and talk by. about this any t as much as you want. I mean, yes, this, this, is a, yes. this has been an interesting project. And it, it, it looks great. It's very attractive. It, and it adds so much right here in the center of Rockingham County. And if you'll come down, I'll give you the nickel tour. I will stop by. I need to bring my uh, my lunch one day and then walk around. Maybe I'll see some of the turkeys and the deer. <laughs> If not, you may see the turkey at Town Hall. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. This has been a very good conversation. We appreciate you being with us, and we'll be inviting you back again. Well, thank you so much. Yes. Rockingham County 411, we're telling you, you're in a good place.